So it's February 2nd, 2022 at 12.50 p.m. Well, yeah, 12.50 at noon. Heading towards afternoon. Well, it's afternoon, actually. And um, I had to boil water in the saucepan here alone um, in an attempt to try and to remove this... Uh, The burnt stuff at the bottom that sometimes doesn't get removed right away unless uh, I do that step, which uh, was a hard to remember guesstimation, you know, hypotheses that it would possibly work after boiling, after trying to wash it one time around and scrub it as much as possible, and then boiling just filtered spring water in there for about. 15 minutes or so, until it brings up to a good boil for some time. Yeah, it was boiling for about maybe six minutes or so. In order to be able to get rid of the residue at the bottom of the saucepan that I don't want leaching into my pasta when I make it. I know that they, um, we don't have any Brillos here at my place right now, currently. Maybe it's in another room. I just don't know about it. But that's the method that I did to try to remove this. Now I'm going to, uh, in order to make the process a little faster, I'm going to try uh, putting a little bit of vinegar in there. I'm using balsamic. I'm just going to put like a Small drop, let's see. Probably like a teaspoon worth. It's fine. Let's go like this. the odors because the ball's on it you know <laughs> that's great must in there you know from the bottom of the barrel my fingernail on this one. Oh, 
good enough for now, guys. It's the right time to say where it's never good enough, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Instead of making it, you know, into a prostitution issue out here with, you know, making a... Uh, where people are trying to solicit based off of what they what they gather off the internet off of someone's public posts and things and they try to see it as like a way of making money you know yeah. or someone could be spending their time actually you know starting a family if they really wanted to the business maybe an orchard mandarin orange orchard okay i would have also ginger you know garlic um i don't know how black pepper exactly grows that'd be hard you'd have to have large lands a lot a lot lots wait as in square foot, it would have to be many uh, yards, square feet. Kind of like a parking lot type lot, you know what I'm saying? That, And uh, you'd probably have to have special, you know, people who would know how to, uh, you know, with the they drive around on their trucks that can gather the black pepper corn or something like that. That's that'd be maybe 30 years from today or something like that. Realistically speaking, if I really wanted to do something like that, maybe. I don't know. I'm not really too interested in that. I'd rather just stick to, let's say, um, you know, buying it in bulk, maybe at the most. And, you know, if that was possible, and then like reselling it at the dispensaries, medical cannabis dispensaries, along with maybe a special recipe book or something. Whatever. That's one way to, to, for me to continue actually making money, for instance, you know, that's a great, that's a great uh, outlet for me because I already, you know, posted basically free recipes, but eventually I could open up maybe a restaurant or, you know, later on down the line. When, and before then I could maybe do, you know, have the, with the help of someone I trust enough to be able to Someone who I can easily trust enough if I need them to drive my Dodge Viper down the street and back without stealing it, you know, I'd be able to, you know. Or they'd have their own little um, Vespa, pink Vespa scooter or something like that, that they could, you know, they had to do something. They have to really travel anywhere. I would be able to trust them enough and also be able to, you know, have a business like that. But, uh, you know, reselling black pepper corn in bulk to cannabis, medical cannabis dispensaries. As one option, along with ginger, various forms of ginger. You know, if you have crystal, organic crystallized ginger, you know, or lozenges, hard candy, stuff like that.
give it another wash in a little bit before I make my lunch. So let it dry for a bit and then I'll scrub it again. It didn't come off all black. Gotta dry my hands quickly. <sighs> See how it turns out. Just still have to work on it a little bit after it dries. Once it dries again, I'll be able to scrub it off while it's dry.